Here we have here a drum out of our washing machine, and it's a Lucy one in fact. Pull the mach washing machine apart carefully, because uh, it's quite tough to get out, cut it out, and the motor that was on the washing machine, this here, doesn't produce DC volts, so I uh, pulled this off, which used to sit here, and <coughs> I replaced it with, I uh, got this uh, DC motor out of a, an old treadmill machine because when you run them in reverse they produce DC voltage. This is the original washing machine belt which was attached to the AC motor and it just so happened it marries up exactly once I put this motor on just bolted it through the same um, fixing the holes, mountain holes there. But that just by fluke or sheer coincidence marries up with the right height of the uh, drive shaft on the motor. So when the drum spins, the ratio of the big wheel going into the small wheel gives you lots of turns. I'll just explain. Demonstrate that in a second. Uh, here's an example of the uh, big wheel which is, which is attached to the washing machine drum, spinning a small uh, crank on the DC motor. You see how that's not moving much with the DC motor is. So it looks as if it will be quite efficient. And this will give an indication. I've got the DC motor connected up to a voltmeter here set in DC. And when you turn it in uh, anti-clockwise, I don't know if you can see the reading here, but you'll see it going up in voltage. There's 3, 5, 7, 10 volts, 12 volts, 13 got about 20 volts there at that speed so that's more than enough to uh, charge up a bank of batteries so we're sitting at 19 there and as you can see the this is the speed that the drum needs to be turning at which isn't a lot I don't know what it is in revolutions per minute I'll measure that later on but that's just showing you the efficiency that I can produce uh, enough voltage via the uh, DC motor that this is attached to to charge up the batteries. Now, uh, this is going to be a homemade vertical axis uh, wind turbine. I uh, came up with this idea, which I got an idea from uh, some Italian guy on uh, YouTube. Anyway, back to the idea. I'm going to bolt these to the side. I've got eight of them cut, which it is, is PVC half round guttering. So eight of them cut, that's about 700 millimetres long. I don't know how efficient this is going to be, it's just going to be have to uh, suck it and see, bolt it all on and see what happens. So that's the idea and that's going to catch the wind and the way that it's bolted here then it's going to turn the drum anti-clockwise and that's what we want so that this motor is going to produce uh, the positive voltage because if it was, as you know, clockwise it would produce a negative voltage so whatever way the wind blows it's going to turn it anti-clockwise that's what we're after <laughs> 